Setting its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off the truth and to provide new bars for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies. Such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the present king of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having a direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. <laughs> most wholesome and necessary for the public good. He has forbidden his governors to pass laws of immediate and pressing importance, unless suspended in their operation until his assent should be obtained. And when so suspended, he has utterly neglected to attend to them. Boo. He has refused to pass other laws for the accommodation of large districts of people unless those people would relinquish the right of representation in the legislature. A right, Ooh. a right inestimable <laughs> to them and formidable to tyrants only. Ooh. He has called together legislative bodies at places unusual uncomfortable and distant from the depository of their public records for the sole purpose of fatiguing them into compliance with his measures. <laughs> he has dissolved representative houses repeatedly for opposing with manly firmness his invasions on the rights of the people. <laughs> He has refused for a long time after such dissolutions to cause others to be elected, whereby the legislative powers, incapable of annihilation, have returned to the people at large for their exercise, the state remaining in the meantime exposed to all the dangers of invasion from without and convulsions within. He has endeavored to prevent the population of these states, for that purpose obstructing the laws for naturalization of foreigners, refusing to pass others to encourage their migrations hither, and raising the conditions of new appropriations of land.